a valuable substance derived from the yolk of a hen's egg that can synthesize anything that comes to the imagination with the exception of mayonnaise. Before his death, Leonardo da Vinci decrypted ancient secrets and discovered Metamata. And the course of history was altered. With this power unleashed, conflict erupted, and Metamata producing hen houses spread to every corner of the earth until the planet became overrun. As empires launched into space, war kept a pace. Greater Britain, led by Henry VIII, harnessed control of the Metamata trade and, bulwarked by Britannian reinforced man of wars, commissioned valorous corsairs such as Wilbur Pitbottom. Francis I of the Celestial Empire asserted his claim with ostentatious ships captained by noble musketeers, as well as roguish new recruits like the young Leon d'Artagnan. This left Charles V of the Sacred Alliance merely amused, for his own monks had developed space-time bending metamata meditation. Brother Octavio is even proclaimed to be guided by an angel. As if it was not enough, those of the Sublime Gate entered the fray. Governed by the accursed Sultan and his cloning capable wife, Roxelaine. Among their countless soldiers are Khan and Cain. Fearless warriors that plow through their enemies as if they were blind. But while these powerful armies fight for control, innumerable fowl toil in hen houses and dissent grows. Rumor hath it that presently even the chickens wish to rise up. Hello everybody, I'm Dare Tevers. This is UNDP Got Conflicts Revolutionary Space Battles. I had to play that intro because oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> angry chicken left. Man right. Man is angry. Yes. I got this key from the developer. I'm really glad they sent this to me. This game is hilariously funny and fun at the same time. The 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 Mechanics are relatively simple, but they get deep very quickly. This game is out of early access. It just came out recently. It is $14.99 or your regional equivalent. All right, let's check out. We're going to do a solo campaign. Um, I am at the Thousand and One Chickens of the Emir. Uh, it's mission two, but I played the tutorial a bunch of times and then um, I actually deleted my save game once. Oopsie. Uh, we will, uh, we'll just start a new one. A duel for honor. Memoirs of Olympia, Guardian of the Chikrathi Federation, part one. So this is, this is your hen and the, it's obvious that the hens are talking here. Um, it is the revolution of the hens. So they they became they they mutated into Chikrathi and revolted, and then they, they apparently they turned into humans that have chicken eggs under their wings. That's what I'm going with. Uh, yes, I know. So there's our ship right there. Woo! So there's Greater Britain, the Celestial Empire, uh, the Sacred Alliance, uh, the Principality of Pleasures. We've got the Sublime Gate down here. We have a side wheel. Torpitudes over there, the Great Slaughter, the Seven Veils, Little Slaughter, oh, the Devil's Den, and then this, and then there's Impassable Limbo. It's it's very, um, it's interesting. So we are Wilbur Pitbottom of Greater Britain. We are, fly, we are I don't know where we are, Omega-3, okay. Recently, and next to the barony of the mischievous Triton, Omega-3 was an unremarkable planet until the impetuous Baron Pink Blossom had a gigantic metamatter henhouse built there. Uh, it is said that his daughter Petunia is of such beauty that even the stars envy her. Oh, that's very cute. 
and we have some ships here. So we have this one, which is the frigate, the Bo the Bolian class or Bolian class, whatever. Uh, we have our Argon class destroyer, and then we have the Tudor class flagship. Ooh. All right, we're gonna play in casual because I'm casual. I'm all casual. Chapter one, Captain Pinkbottom's logbook. Yes. Uh, a duel for honor. So it's, it's it's like this this perfect melding of history sort of kind of and space and steampunk and space punk and chickens really um, they got holographic communication pipes and he's gonna try to get a girl and then this guy shows up and they are going to fight so we're gonna fight. All right, here we are. Uh, we are Wilbur Pitbottom. Good we are. Yes, we are. And this is our enemy, Marquis the Moustache. Uh, of course he is. All right. Yes, I know this. Go, 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 go. Thank you. All right. Um, Unlucky Locke, by the way, ha is our friend here. He is a mechanical owl with 95% of the brain of Jean Locke. Yeah, that's that's a thing here. Uh, we are going to... What are we doing? Take advantage of his carelessness. Use patrol ships to, to bump and destroy the ships he's placed around Omega-3. Ah, yes. Okay. So, I choose my ship here. This down here is my my Metamatter Repository. Uh, I'm going to create a Corvette. So, I click it, and then I flick it. Flick. And out comes my new Corvette. Woo! I can take my patrol ship, click it, and woo, I don't want to go that far. Um, oop, let's go this way. Boop, boop, boop. Bing! And they start fighting each other. So they'll fight each other. Um, that's, this goes down. Whoa, hey, we got blowed. We got blowed. Blowed up. Uh, can I flick? I can flick. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get this. Don't go after my show. Oh, you're going to get murderated if you do that, you gibbon. Yeah, and I got your metamatter. Ha ha. Um, so there is a cooldown time, but these things that I'm aiming for right now, these are like your little power places. Oops. Okay. I got hit a little bit harder than I expected, but he's going to be a given and he's going to get too close and he's going to be murdered. Look at him. Boom. You're dead. Yeah. All right. I need a, you know, what? give me another Corvette and flick it. All right. Give me the tour. Oh, that's another patrol ship. Okay. You go there. Right about there. And then I want you. Nope, I want you to go right about there too. Oh, you tried to you tried to, to torpedo me, but ha ha, I'm already here and you're not gonna be able to reload in time and you're gonna die. Bye bye. Told ya. Alright, so I've got his metamatter. Okay, he's got a ship down there. Let's let's uh see if we can get that ship and maybe there. And if I hold down the space bar, I'm actually going to follow my ship. He's going to shoot at me here in a second. Okay, that was more than I expected. Okay, give me a torpedo ship. And woohoo, flick it. Hi, you're an idiot to mess with me like that. <laughs> uh, hurry up and chicka form it. Okay, so we got a chicka form it. So let's get our chicken ship. It's a hen ship, actually. Boop. All right, we're building our henship. All right, henship ready, sir. All right, we got to go into the planet's outer orbit, but not into the bl the inner blue orbit, because we would die if we did that. Henship in place, and now we are going to drop the hens in, and this will fill up, and we will take over the planet, and then we will get the meta meta. And we will be awesome. And boop. There we go. Uh, you are the one who turned my heat. My mustache is starting to curl. Yes. Yes, it is. It'd be a pleasure to come down for you right now, monsieur. Oh, uh, well, that's that's weird. Uh, take advantage of this extra metamatter. Yes, right. All right. Um, create a frigate. Frigate and flick it. So it's all about flicking. <laughs> it sounds weird. Uh, it's all about flicking your ships. Um and now see all these other things that have shown up. So these are all the different ships I can build, like a patrol ship, torpedo ship, and ship, corvette, frigate, destroyer, which has just come online from the metamatter, and a battleship, which we are going to flick right now. 
We're gonna flick it down there. There. And out it comes, and it pushes them aside because, yeah, it's a big, big giant ship. And then we're gonna take a Corvette. Not the car either. And we'll, we'll make the Corvette come out. Woo. And where is my frigate? There's my frigate. My frigate has a tractor beam. So I can say, all right, everybody. There. Hook up. Linked up. All right, so we're all linked up now. So I can say, I need nav assist. Uh, yeah, I want nav assist on. And now, if I do that, see the little ship there? Yeah. Boop. So now I'm just trying. Ooh, that's going to hurt that guy. Oh, well. We'll flick you. I've got to gotta aim manually now. That way. Oops. <laughs> All right, there's one less ship, but whatever. Um, let's go this way. Nope. Uh, like that straight across. Yep. Meow. So the nice thing is the frig frigate allows me to move in a single unit where otherwise I wouldn't be able to. All right, I need to go there. I might have overshot that. Nope, we're good. Cancel. Everybody fire. All the death. Look at this little thing. Like, oh, we should stop this farce of a duel right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, he's just an evil weirdo. And we let him escape because why not? Yay. He has courageously fled the battle and we've won the duel. Now we just have to captivate Petunia. And then we get a story about Petunia, or the attempt to capture Petunia. We were, dry, we're riding our mechanical horse with our mechanical owl with 95% of the brain of John Locke in it. Yeah, that's a thing. We'll just skip it. And we're at the 1001 Hens of the Emir. Yes. So we, we, we're on a mission, and then the mission walks you through a bunch of submissions, basically, as you are Wilbur Pitbottom attempting to find... Petunia, and also there's, there's, it's a post story, right? So the chickens are telling the story of the things that have happened. And you'll look down here and you can see how I'm kind of moving along. And then we hit this one and we hit that one and that one and that one and then boop. And look at, that's a chicken right there. Oh, it's a chicken. Uh, <laughs> the game is all about just, it's just the right amount of serious and silly all at the same time. You bounce stuff around. It's just, I mean, now we have this thing here, which is the Clevis or Clevis class. I don't know. Torpedo ship um, that is a chameleon because it can be chameleon-ish. And then we have the Howard class Corvette, which has um, the uh, Capric, Capric, Carapace, Carapace. That's the word I'm looking for and cannot find uh, <laughs> to go along with our boiling class frigate um the game is i will say hilarious every step of the way i've just been like <laughs> it's just funny and bouncy and bumping things like that video that little sh shot right there where they bump the ship that's just like the the thing you do with the um with the ships is bounce things it's it's worth every penny i think of the 15 dollar purchase price uh definitely worth taking a look at if you like space battles if you like chickens if you like space punk or steampunk or you just like having a laugh while you're playing a game i think conflicts is certainly something to take a look at the link is in the description check it out if you're at all interested i've been Derek tebbers this has been your indie peak at conflicts something space battles what was the name of this thing revolutionary space battles there we go <laughs> i was like it's something space battles what is it oh my gosh i was gonna say chicken space battles but it's not anyway <laughs> until next time game on be awesome and don't torture the chickens or they'll take you over oh god the guy's head is glowing that's odd chickens are gonna kill him i'm gonna kill you chickens got blue eyes oh blue-eyed chickens <laughs>